We're looking at how border crossings are negatively impacting one Arizona farmer, even as the state is in the process of placing shipping containers in the gaps between the border wall in Yuma. Robert Sherman joins us live now with more on that. Good morning, Robert. Good morning to you, Mitch, and where we're standing right now, you can see the whole situation. The border wall goes for miles on end, but comes to an abrupt halt here. That's where the federal land stops. That's where reservation land begins, which is where the border fence can't be built. As a result, this is where the far majority of crossings are now taking place, and none of this that you see behind here is expected to change. This is what we've got right here. This is our structure for keeping the people out. Curtis Griffin has been farming in Yuma, Arizona for decades. He sees the border crisis firsthand as migrants cross through his fields every day, destroying crops and leaving behind trash that damages his machinery. It's more than dollars and cents. It's millions of dollars. You know, if you, you figure out how many farmers uh, that are impacted all along this border, it's not just me. There's several of us, and we're all going through the same problems. The Yuma sector, historically one of the quieter spots along the border, has seen a nearly 250% increase in migrant encounters this fiscal year, according to Customs and Border Protection. It's also been home to the notorious Yuma Gap, portions of the border wall left unfinished that migrants cross through. This week, the state of Arizona is putting the finishing touches on plugging the gaps with shipping containers. Something's got to be done. Whether it's going to work remains to be seen. Brandon Judd, president of the National Border Patrol Council, is cautiously optimistic, but says this won't solve the whole problem. Namely, because there are still large portions of the border in Arizona where the wall cannot be built because it's reservation land. But the hope is almost all the crossings will now take place in those areas, making Border Patrol more effective and efficient at processing. We want to be able to dictate where crossings take place. Griffin's farmland is near those exact trouble spots, meaning he'll still be dealing with the issue every day. He wants the federal government to do more. You need to quit pretending that it's not a problem. It absolutely is a problem. And uh, you need to you need to address it. And look at what's here this morning. Hundreds of migrants have already crossed here into Yuma, Arizona. Seems as though that moment by moment, more and more people are arriving here. Talking to the National Border Patrol Council, they said Arizona accounts for about 300 miles of the U.S.-Mexico border, 75 of which is reservation land. And they say these are the most troubling spots because they can't put up the border fence. They can't install any technology and they say nobody understands that better than the Mexican cartels who are sending a lot of these people across. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.